Good morning, Penguin class for grade four E's. You won't believe what happened to me. I used my own cell phone this morning um, instead of this one, which is San Marie's one, and I finished the whole lesson. But the video stopped somewhere in the middle because my my space my um, megabyte space type of thing uh, there wasn't enough so the video stopped in half so i'm having a new page and um, so just believe this is your right hand page it is here next to your pictures of the minutes it is video 18 and you all already wrote last week um, may 2020 and long division 2 so now you can write the 4 and you can write video 18 and then I just wrote there in the margin Dave divide Mel multiply Stuart subtract Bob bring down I just wrote it there you can look easily on the left side but I'm not going to keep moving the book you will get very dizzy so that's why I wrote it there so that it can stay the camera can focus on this page and we don't have to move back towards the pictures so you may write that now there also but if you did what I said and the minions are here on the left page I'll move slowly this time um, then you don't actually have to write it because you can um, quickly see there but if you want to write it just pause and write all the things that I've written there okay um, and after you paused are we going to start again okay so now this sum now the first one is 935 remember the space there's the line you remember the space there yeah? so you put your little roof on top <clears throat> and the little wall to separate the divide number with a big number Okay, so now, what is interesting now, you will see, 9 divided by 5 is a very strange thing. How is that going to work? So, for the long division, I will allow you always to write on an extra piece of paper, a rough paper, um, to write the... Five, the counting in fives because divide and times is the same now or remember it's something I told you from the very beginning of the year so counting and division or times and division is exactly the same so we're dividing by the number five so we're going to write, write the numbers of the top five times table five, ten 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, <coughs> and 50. We're going to stop at the 10, <coughs> 10 times 5. Right? If, if you need to go further, we can just finish it off. But for now, it's not needed. Now, you will see now. 5 cannot go really into 9 yeah? or 9 divided by 5 is very strange so you must see now how many times 5 can go into 9 so you see there if you have 5 it is 1 time if you have 10 which is 2 times 5 times 2 is 10 10 is more than 9 so you cannot say 5 goes into 9 two times but you can say 5 goes into 9 only one time so you write a 1 there 
So 9 divided by 5 is 1. Or 5 goes to, into 9 one time. So now you're going to multiply the, divi the div divide number with the answer. Ne? Remember that. So you multiply 5 times 1 is 5. Then you minus or subtract. So 9 minus 4. Ach, 9 minus 5 is 4. I should have made the little rind there. Sorry for this. I burnt my hand when I put a dish into the oven. I always do that. Okay, so now you subtract it and there's 4 left. The number that is left after you subtract it must always be less than that. Okay, so now <clears throat> you bring down you bring, bring down the 3, the 30 and please no harsh arrows. No harsh arrows. Okay, so you've brought down. Now you start all over the over again divide now you've got 43 there isn't a zero anymore there's a four <clears throat> so 43 where will you see 43 you won't see 43 here you see 40 and 45 but it cannot be for you cannot use it as a, a number to divide five into because 45 is more than 43 so you're going to be stop at 40 40 is closest to the 45 now we see if you know what is 40 divided by 5 you will know the answer it is 8 but we'll check it now see let's see how many times 5 goes into 43 ne? Five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you say nine times, it is too much, too high a number. So it must the one be just before the number that's too high. So it's forty. So if you multiply, the multiply is to test your answer. Eh? So you take the divide number, times it with Eight, the answer. Five times eight is forty. You've seen it there. Five times eight is forty. Now you must subtract or minus. Three minus zero <coughs> is three. Four minus four is zero. So you subtract it, so there's three left, and that answer must not be more than the divide number it is less than that yeah? so this is correct so now you are with Bob and Bob says bring down the next number 5 now this is much easier because 35 is one of the 5 times table numbers so this is very easy so you divide 35 by 5 is 7. Ne? Let's see. I'll write a 7 and then we check. 35 divided by 5 is 7. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Correct? So 5 times 7 is 35. And then you subtract to see if there's anything left. Do you think there think there is anything left <coughs> 5 minus 5 is 0 3 minus 3 is 0 so nothing left then Bob says bring down bring down bring down but there's nothing to bring down anymore so this is our answer let's see quickly maybe I made a mistake because sometimes I do now when I'm too so distracted with the things going on here. 935 divided by 
pi is 187. Do we have 187? Yes, wonderful. So the answer is correct. You're going to draw a line there only up to the half, the fold. Okay? Only up to there. Our next number is going to be 684. The little roof. Remember, there must be space for the answer. <clears throat> Divide by 6. Okay, this is a nice one. The first one is quite easy. When you divide, <clears throat> when you divide, 6 divided by 6 is 1. This is very easy. There is no need for any difficult um, subtractions and things like this that doesn't fit. So, divide and then you multiply. 6 times 1 is 6. Then you subtract and you see, see 6 minus 6 is 0. And then you have a bob that says bring down. Now we're going to do the 6 times table quickly. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54, and 60. Okay, so we're working with a 6 times table now. Okay? This is divided by 6. Now 6 goes into 8. Oh dear, there isn't an 8. So, must it be 6, then it's 1 time? Or must it be 12, then it's 2 times? It must be 6, because 12 is too much. It's much more than 8, 4 times more than 8. Now, so, we're going to say 6 goes into 8 when we divide, or 8 divided by 6. Or 6 goes into 8 only one time. So now we multiply and see if it works out properly. 6 times 1 is 6. Now you subtract. Stuart says subtract. 8 minus 6 is 2. Now Bob says bring down. And you bring down the 4 and this is also an easy one because if you know your tables you know 24 divided by 6 will be 4 let's check it here 1 2 3 4 so 24 divided by 6 is 4 so you see you say 24 divided by 6 is 4 now you multiply the divide number with the answer. 6 times 4 is 24. Now you subtract. 4 minus 4 is 0. 2 minus 2 is 0. And Bob says bring down. But there's nothing more to bring down. So this is your answer. 114. Let's check. 684 divided by 6 is, can you see it? 114. Is that our answer? Yes. Very good. So, a line just up to the margin because our next long division 3 remember will be on this side and we're going to write it there on top again so your line only goes down goes up to the middle of the page next number is 985 985 <coughs> 
roof, wall, and divide by 5 again. So, we have the 5 tables written down. So, you can look quickly. If you have to have 9 divided by 5, you already had it there. Ne? 9 divided by 5, or 5 goes into 9 how many times? Only one time. If you say 2 times, it's too much. 10 is more than 9. So, 5 goes into 9 2 times. Ne? So we multiply the number that's dividing, the divide number with the answer. 5 times 2, oh no, oh no, oh no, wrong, 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 wrong. I'm sorry. Only one time, ne? like the, sorry guys, 1. Right, so you, 9 divided by 5 is 1, I'm sorry. Now, Multiply to test it and make sure 5 times 1 is 5. Now we subtract or minus. 9 minus 5 is 4. Just like we had at the top. But now here is a difference. Bob says bring down the next number which is 8. Now. 5 goes into 48. Do you see a 48 there? I don't see a 48. I see a 40 and I see a 45 and I see a 50. Can we take the 5 goes into 50 or must we take the 5 goes into 45? It cannot be the 50 because it's more than the 48. So it must be the one just less than this. So 45. If you know your tables, you will know. 5 goes into 45 9 times. So let's check it. You, as we said, 48 divided by 5 is 9. Now that you would divide it. So we're going to multiply it now and check and see what's happening. So the divide number times the answer. 5 times 9 is 45. Now we're going to subtract. Stuart says he must subtract. Right, now 8 minus 5 is 3. 4 minus 4 is 0. Okay, so now you see the answer there is here less than that so it can be correct if you would have had 50 then the answer would have been um, oh, it's 48 yeah so it would have been 6 more oh you know it let me just re, re, don't rub out what I said. 48 minus 45 is 3. So bring down the 5. Okay. So Bob says bring down. <coughs> oh, yeah. Let me just say if it was 50, the. the 48 is less than 50, so you couldn't have um, minus it or subtracted it. Sorry for that little um, hiccup in my thinking. So, forget about what I said. 48 minus 45 is 3. So, Bob says bring down. And now we start all over again. 35. Now you've got 35 there. 35 is one of the 5 tables if you know it quickly you know 35 by the di divide by 5 is 7 so th let's see this is 35 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 yeah ne? so you multiply it now 5 times 7 is 35 <coughs> 
<clears throat> and then you must steward, do what steward says, you must subtract. 5 minus 5 is 0, 3 minus 3 is 0. Okay, here is the answer. 985 divided by 5 is 197. Let's check it quickly. Um, 985 divided by 5 is 197. Can you see? It's the same. So our answer is correct. Okay. Um, so this is video 18, worksheet 17, um, uh, was the test, so I'm adding also the memo of worksheet 17 with today's work, so yeah, and maybe later on today I'll um, send you a few history pages so that your parents can read it for you, if you can read it by yourself, that would be very good. But if your mom or your dad needs to read it for you, just read it through so that you know what's going on with the history. And the, the um, science will also be sent very soon. <coughs> Teacher Yolanda and I are, are um, working together at this stage. So we, when we're both ready, she will send hers to the Afrikaans kids and... I will send mine to the English kids, otherwise I will send it in one um, email, but everything will be marked and labelled clearly. So, see you later on. Enjoy your maths.